Have you ever noticed how a well-made film just sort of flows? When people do things well, it always looks so incredibly simple, doesn't it? It's only when you try and do it yourself that you realise how difficult it actually is. Well, the starting point with a film has to be a really good script. And that's got to be spot on before you even start shooting. I talked to one of the showreel judges, Trevor Griffiths, who's written screenplays for films like Reds, Oi for England and many others. It's always seemed to me, I mean, long before I wrote Comedians, it's always seemed to me that the joke is like the little capsule paradigm of storytelling. And for anybody who is interested in making film, if you want to start without your materials of filmmaking, uh, the resources of filmmaking, but you just want to start at the level of narrative, of storytelling, learn to tell a joke well. Find out how people do it. Watch, listen, think. Because in a joke, you've got story, you've got structure, you've got form, you've got character, uh, you've got dialogues. I mean, you've got all those kind of basic ingredients of the screenplay. Mm. Once you've got the nugget of an idea for a screenplay, how do you proceed from there? I do a lot of research, and I think this, I mean, I would offer this as a cautious piece of advice. I mean, I try to, I try to cover the ground. I try to find out like the whole map of the ground that we're dealing with. It might be about a 1945 upper class country house. It might be about a working men's club. But I spend a lot of time in, spa in places. Um, I read a lot of books. I look at a lot of photographs. I make tapes, interviews with people. And I think the job really is to, is to, is to cover the ground enormously thoroughly so that you really do appropriate it. You own that territory. You might use but a thousandth of the material you've actually of the materials you've actually sought to master. But each piece that you use, each nugget that you use will be connected organically to another hundred or another thousand pieces. It's like a bed from which the text will grow. I suppose the bottom line for screenwriting is this. If you're trying to make a film without an, a, a finished and achieved text, you're in a great deal of trouble. You're going to wander all over the place, and you're going to hope to save it at some further point, the edit. Um, much better to look for the ground rule and the ground plan in an achieved text. But the text is more than just what the director may now do. The text is a complicated structure of feeling and thought that comes from the author, the screenwriter. And that is like, that's what the meanings, or most of the meanings of the film are likely to be. Now, if they're incoherent and contradictory or bland, you know, uh, something else will happen. Somebody else will take over those meanings. And at the end of the film, you may have produced a completely different meaning from the one that you wanted. Not only different, but contradictory. It actually says something else. Now, I think writing is about meaning. You write for public meaning. And you have to be proud of that meaning. You have to care about what you write. I mean, if you think writing is just a, a detached skill that you can turn to this end or that end, then you should be in public relations. I think writing is always journey. It's always... I mean, I, I have shape and I have structure and I, I have a sense of the through line, the map of the terrain of the play that I'm about to start. But I don't know at the beginning what I know at the end. And if I knew at the beginning what I know at the end, I wouldn't need to write it. So writing is always an act of discovery um, about the world we live in, about ourselves, about the possibilities of change and the needs for change, you know. It's, uh, it's a hell of a job. <laughs> that was Trevor Griffiths, one of the judges for Showreel 88. The others are film director Hugh Hudson, who made Chariots of Fire and Revolution. His next film is about a teenage boy in California. Then there's Nick Brett, who's editor of the Radio Times. 
Jenny Barraclough, who's made some of the Beeb's top documentaries, and finally, David Mitten, who animated Thomas the Tank Engine and the children's series called Tugs. I'll be talking to them in future programmes.